We are at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City for the premiere of Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb. This is the third and final movie of the trilogy directed by Sean Levy that has entertained us for so many years. Here they come. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Kaylin. I'm Skyler. I'm Hannah. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. So we just have one question for you. Okay. Let's say you were to turn to dust at um, sunrise okay. this next morning, and these were your last 12 hours on Earth. How would you spend those last 12 hours? First six hours, I'm at Chipotle, <laughs> eating as many burritos and bowls as I can. And then the next six hours, I'm going to be wondering why I spent the first six hours at a Chipotle eating as many burritos and bowls as I can. In the film, I'm a senior in high school, and I'm an aspiring DJ who doesn't want to go to school next year. I'm sure you guys aren't stoked maybe about going to school. Maybe you are. And I, I want to go be a DJ at Ibiza for a year, which my dad is not super stoked about. Um, and so you meet my character because he walks in on me throwing a party in our apartment. And over the course of the film, we'll have a discussion about what the future will hold and what I have to do versus what I want to do. And it's a very real conversation that I've certainly had with my mom, not about being a DJ per se. I don't think I could do that well, but uh, about being an actor and that sort of thing. So yeah. How did you get started? Because you really have done a lot. <laughs> I started, you know, 12 years ago. I was six. Um, and... Uh, it's just been a, a, a natural progression of beginning with, you know, smaller parts in television and then just focusing on film. And uh, this was definitely the most exciting thing I've done in my career so far to kind of collaborate with people like Ben Stiller and Robin Williams, like people's films I'd grown up with and uh, admired so much. It's very exciting. So yeah. the fact that this is a, a three-movie trilogy mm -hmm. going on right here, it leads me to believe that this must have been an intense auditioning process. It was a really strange one, and I can't believe it was all the way back in 2005 that I auditioned for it for the first time. But um, oddly enough, you know, I mean, I'm auditioning to be this wax statue of a historical figure. So how does one... Um, oh, my friend, Grisco! How are we doing? Oh, she's so distracted. Seriously, she's such a... Uh, uh, she's the real star of this movie. And she's also playing a, a little boy monkey, which we're not supposed to, you know. She's actually a girl. Yes, yes, yes. She's a cross-dresser. <laughs> my cute husband. Um... Yeah, she steals the show. It's really basically me and Crystal. You know. um, and I'm actually holding Crystal the entire time in this movie, which is really fun. I really enjoyed that. We're like running through the halls of the museum, and she's like right here wrapped up in me. Oh, I so love fun. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, the audition was just bizarre, right? I'm, I'm a historical figure in a wax statue in a diorama, so... You know, I just had to do a lot of like staring and emoting without speaking kind of thing. <laughs> did it hit you right away that this is going to be something I'm going to be a part of for many years after this? Or I did didn't it sink think it in? was going to be this huge. Yeah. I mean, one was exciting enough, right? I didn't think it was going to be three giant films. I didn't think it was going to be this worldwide hit. I mean, I don't think anyone realized it was going to be so great, but I feel really proud to be a part of it. That's for sure. If we were to tell you that you were going to turn to dust by sunrise and this is your final night on earth, how would you spend the next 12 or so hours? Oh my God. Well, I would definitely go to the after party. <laughs> yeah. And then try and like fly around Central Park. Hopefully it'll be snowing, have a really romantic holiday evening and and not go to sleep until the sunrise. With Crystal the monkey? Yes. With Crystal on my shoulder. Of course. Yes. Carrying on the that tradition. That weird. <laughs> if we were to tell you that by morning you'll be turned completely to dust like in the movie, what would you do for the next final night of your life? Uh, I'd probably go and hang out with Owen Wilson, just like I did in the movie, because he makes me laugh and he's a lot of fun. And um, I think we'd have a lot of fun together. We'd make sure our last night counted. From the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City, for Teen Kids News, I'm Hannah. And I'm Kayla.